Okay, hey guys, I'm just doing a video about recent article I read. Uh, in the article, it says that so there was a case with uh, child abuse where 1,400 uh, or more children, I believe, to have been sexually abused in, uh, in this is I think this was in England, and it's quite a disturbing case because the police. Uh, so they actually, the council, they actually knew it was going on, and they didn't stop it because they were that being called racist. And it's not that they were actually being racist at all; is that they worried that they would be labelled racist. I just thought I'd talk about the problems with misuse of the word racism and other words in today's society. And the thing is, misusing racism makes it seem more prevalent and less of a serious issue because it's a very serious issue to be racist and the thing is a racism isn't just stating someone's race or just saying that these the only people doing it, uh, it happens to be of this label or race racism is discriminating specifically against a group of people for their race so for example it could be stating let's say uh, someone on the internet says uh, blacks can't be atheists, which is something I've actually seen quite a lot. That is racist because it might disencourage black atheists or blacks who are becoming atheists and might disencourage them and it is actively discriminating saying that they can't be an atheist. And I didn't actually really comment about that. But st stating uh, that the only groups of people that have been cited uh, with in gang rapes and stuff uh, are a different race of the lo locals isn't in my opinion totally racist I mean sure it might seem offensive but if it's true then it's a serious issue and I really think that they need to stop this and I need to race, racism needs to be uh, taught better because it's kind of disgusting that this could even happen and there was over 1,400 children and there was even a child that said it was part of growing up to be gang raped in the village and it's quite extremely disturbing and they've issued a huge apology about it and that they failed the young people of the town and I really think they have done that and it's just horrifying really to a point of what can happen and I've been thinking about terms like Islamophobia uh, in places where, let's say, uh, you might state that someone says that people are they're getting raped and most of the people they're getting raped are being raped by members of Islam. Well, the problem with the term Islamophobia is that, for a start, there are 72 different parts of Islam, well, more than 72, probably tons. And you can't really be scared of something that's so vastly different. I mean, for a start, not even forgetting that it's kind of hard to be scared of something if you don't personally believe in it. I mean, can you just say that the people who are members of Islam themselves are Islamophobes because they they say that they fear their gods, they they fear Allah, and that other people fear them. So isn't that technically describe Islamophobia itself? And it's kind of an ignorant term. And it seems to be holding that society in certain situations. It's just disgusting. And understand that there are cases where people are just being extremely aggressive to Muslims. And I agree that that's wrong. But it's not always for no reason. As there are groups in of Islam that are killing each other, literally murdering people. I mean, there's a fate on the internet of a man a uh, member of Islam, a Muslim, or he calls himself a Muslim. I'm not going to say that he's definitely a Muslim, or I can't, I could never know. But he has f four heads, four people's heads next to him, the people that he's killed, and he's capable, he's done that. And obviously there are other people that do violence in the world, but right now a lot of terrorist groups and ISIS are mainly Islam based. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that Muslims are the only groups that are causing violence 
or even the primary ones. There are plenty of other groups that are causing violence. I mean, for example, at the moment, in Russia, there are a lot of things in Russia is going on, especially with the shooting down of the plane. Uh, the, I can't remember what it's called, but uh, I'm sure you've heard about the plane in Ukraine that was shot down, believed to be shot down by a Russian rebel. The bomber has accused Russia of shooting it down or aiding rebels to shoot it down. But it is quite disturbing how terms like Islamophobia or just calling people racist has led to this ignorance around these things. And I really think that people should need to be more educated about racism and these terms. Otherwise it's just going to hold back society for a long time. And it's just going to lead to less equality. And unless we can deal with this, society is going to have huge problems. Just wanted to let that all out. Feel a bit tired today. Alright, thanks guys. See ya.